Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a great morning so far. I'm gonna go slow today because I was supposed to be going on holidays today and my body didn't get the message that that's no longer happening. So today I'm talking about cold sores, fatigue, and high stress. So I'm Ange Sinclair and I'm the digestive detective. See, I can't even say my name right. I'm so tired today. Um, so, and today I wanna to talk about herbs and how they help us. To do this, I wanna talk about Lorraine's case. So Lorraine is a 55 year old um, professional woman she owns her own business, um, but she says it's really stressful. Um, so her stress level is about a nine and a half out of 10. Um, and she feels like this is one of the reasons um, her cold sores are so bad um, at the moment. So this increases her fatigue level and she feels like she can't do anything for weeks after when she gets a cold sore. Um, so she feels like it's a real effort to get out of bed in the morning. I hear um, her glands are really swollen all the time and she was pretty miserable. Um, so what happened with Lorraine is it all started with her when she had a respiratory infection. She had had cold sores for a really long part of her life. So she was used to the effects of these. She would get them, literally when I saw her, she had them all around her mouth, um, up her nose, all on the outside of her mouth. So it was like this big patch here that she had. So And it was a pretty serious case of cold sores. I, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite... Um, as consuming as as they were for her so she was taking um medically prescribed um a cyclovol uh, for a cold sores but it seemed like she said to me she seemed like it was losing its effectiveness um because she was having more outbreaks than she ever did so her diet was really good and to be honest i think her diet was the only thing holding it together at this point in time so there is some research that um there's two herbs in particular have a better outcome than um, a sickly fall. Um, so in Lorraine's herbs, I put these mix, um, in, the, in her mix, I put these herbs for her. Um, so we talked about lifestyle for her. So getting some help at home. She was really busy doing all the jobs at home, all the cooking, all the washing, going out to get the groceries. So she was pretty busy doing that and having a full-time position. So the issues I see about... Um, around people when they have that level of stress and also from personal experience you get a mindset that you have to do everything you can't see that there are other ways to do things um, and there's other ways for things to work so we talked about lots about um, getting strategies in place around some things that could get her out of doing everything at home so we sent her off, I sent her off with the herbs and um, one or two supplements as well and at the after the first week she came back and she said um, she still felt really fatigued, but her glands were down for the first time in months and the cold sores were starting to be not so frequent. So they weren't as pronounced around her face. Um, so and, and what was happening is when they were clearing, they weren't leaving a big scar for a long period of time. So that was really good. So now when you use herbs, they don't work the same as a pharmaceutical um, or a single nutrient, for example, zinc. They don't, they don't work like that that herbs work together um synergistically so i used herbs for her that were indicated for lymphatic system for viruses um and for stress and lots of adaptogen herbs cold sore herbs so it was a pretty good mix for her to, that we put together so after this first two weeks we tweaked the herbs every single visit for about six months and after the first month that the cold sores had um reduced considerably she wasn't getting any more so which was really great uh, so one of the things that she noticed over the six month period we got to a point where she was having no more outbreaks which was fantastic she had made good gains at home which was really important for her so she could take some of the load off um, she'd hired a cleaner um, to help her do that she'd made a roster with her family which she hadn't done before um, so that everybody was to do some washing and some shopping and some cooking even um, and so these were the biggest steps of all for her and they were the most hardest you know like getting the herbs and taking them and putting other stuff into her routine wasn't really such a big deal so getting her family to help with the things um, was really important for her so she felt once that she started to do this she said she felt that her body almost sighed and um, started to unwind and relax itself so have you ever taken on all the jobs uh, you can see that this was a major stressor for Lorraine um, and changing these things was a huge mind shift for her that really required a lot of courage on her part so I saw Lorraine for six months 
And by the end of the treatment, even her specialist was shocked by the fantastic she was, results she was having with the cold sores. So by the end of the six months, she'd had no cold sores for about three months. Um, and I sporadically hear from her when she's had a flare um, for another bottle of herbs. So the good news now is though, she recognizes when she starts to do all the things all over again. And she sees, uh, what she says to me, she says, I can see when I'm starting to go back to the dark side. So she can pull it all back into line pretty quickly. Um, and this, for me, I think um, there's so many things to love about herbs and I love them because I can make them specifically for what you are experiencing. Um, they give me a super targeted approach, which I love, and which you can't get from um, a pharmaceutical. You cannot get from a single nutrient. This, you know, I can make this particularly to what's going on with you. I have about 130 or 140 herbs, way too many. Um, so I'm addicted to them. Um, I don't often never see a result. Sometimes I see a different result to what I was expecting. Um, and sometimes I give people herbs that... Um, I don't expect a result and they come back and go, oh, this happened. And I think, wow, that's pretty terrific. Um, so I, like I said before, I don't often give herbs and never re see a result. It has happened, but it's a pretty rare occurrence in my mind. Um, I had a lady recently who had this pain in her belly for over two years. And I said, look, let's just start with an anti-inflammatory mix. Um, and I didn't expect that would do anything for her except lower the inflammation. I didn't expect there to be a change in the pain. She come back and she said, oh my God, the pain's completely gone. Um, and she said that went within two days of me starting to take the herbs. So that's pretty, um, pretty impressive in my mind. And herbs don't work like pharmaceuticals. They take a longer time. And the actions are way more complex in our, in, in our body, in my opinion. Um, so if you're having gut problems and you're not sure what to do next, book in at www.digestivedetective.com.au for Facebook. And if you're on Instagram, you can do that through my bio. Um, and I can give you an action plan of what the next steps are. So sometimes it's, it's not about the process of doing the things. It's getting started is the hardest part like me getting out of bed this morning so once i was up and going i was good but i just needed to get started so have a fantastic day everybody and i will see you next week uh, for transformation tuesday see you then bye